This is why people take the lenses out of the glasses. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney. In today's video, I am going to be doing this look. This is inspired by Nadia Lee Cohen. If you don't know who she is, she is a British art photographer, filmmaker, and self-portrait artist. She says that she's inspired by British and American cinema from the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. So she gained notoriety around nine, no, 19, <laughs> around 2016 through her online presence through social media, like Instagram. What I love about her is that she uses all different kinds of, she uses herself. She is a, like a surrealist artist, photographer. She cites John Waters, David Lynch as her influences. She uses prosthetics. She creates different characters. And she uses models from all walks of life. So all different ages, ethnicities, sizes, genders. I think she's really, really cool. And she has a great aesthetic to, to me. So I wanted to create a look that was inspired by her. Please continue to watch if you want to see how I created this look. Um, I will list all of the products that I use in the description down below, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off. This is Smolder Eye Pencil from MAC. I'm just going to rim my inner waterline, top and bottom, and she throws a little bit underneath and drags it out, but goes more straight out rather than a flick up. I'm going to throw a little bit just along my lash line too. I'm going to go in with a gel liner, but this will just fill in in between the lashes. I'm going to smudge that out. Small fluffy brush. I already did my foundation and concealer and everything for the face, but I'll link a video to where I go step by step with the products that I'm using and how I applied it. So it's going straight out. The flat brush is just a dark brown. You can use any dark brown that you like. I didn't put down a base. I threw a little bit of my setting powder down first on my eyelids just so the shadow wouldn't catch in any in any specific areas that I didn't want to. I'm mainly putting it on the lid and a little bit into my crease, but I'm just going to blend that with a fluffy brush. Since she's doing more of a downturn liner, she throws a little bit of that shadow higher on the inner crease to bring that more of like a sad eye look. A fluffy brush with nothing on it. I'm just going in and blending so that there aren't any choppy hard lines. With that same brush that I used to apply the dark brown shadow, I'm going to go in and tight to my lash line, just set that eyeliner. So with Juvia's Place, the black gel liner and MAC 311 brush, I believe that these, the gel liner comes with a brush, which is really nice. But I mean, I just used this because it was at my fingertips. And I'm just going straight across. A little bit more onto my brush. I'm just connecting it from the bottom lash line. Now mascara. Her lashes are a sultry eye, so I'm not gonna curl my lashes because I want them to be a little bit more flat. So I am gonna go in with that base coat. This is Lash Paradise Base by L'Oreal. Top and bottom. Essence Lash, lash Princess. So for lips, I'm going in with, I love these pencils. These are the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte. They are waterproof, so even underneath the mask, they, they don't transfer, it's great. So the what I have on my lips now is the healing process of the tattoo that I did, um, but I am going over, it's pretty healed right now, so I'm gonna go over, this is Masterminding. 
So I'm going to start with the Cupid's bow first because she mainly overdraws here and under here and it comes in over here. And then under here, and then up onto the lip in the corners. I'm going to take a second lip liner. This is from KKW Beauty. This one is Nude 2, and I'm just going to lightly rim the outer edge. Just adds a little bit more dimension. But I'm not going over where I already put that first lip line completely, just on the surrounding perimeter. I'm going to use a little bit of the Petal Poppin from Fenty, the cream blush, just to add a little bit more color to the lip. if this is okay for the lip area but yeah I'm just gonna dust if I can find a clean brush eh, we'll use this one I'm just gonna dust a little bit of shadow this is like the champagne color here but you can use any kind of champagne color and I'm just dusting that on to keep the lip matte and to give a slight frost So this is the complete look. Super easy, one shadow, a little bit of liner. She usually wears, or, oh God, these are filthy. <laughs> Every time I borrow my mom's glasses, I'm like, wow, these are great. She's like, and then I realize that hers are just clean. I love a face accessory, like fake glasses. So she likes to wear these aviators. Hers are usually, Tinted yellow, I'll, sh I'll insert a clip, but super cool. So I love wearing these, have a smoky eye in the, and then, I don't know what to say. So this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, please comment below. If you wanna see anything else by me, please also leave a comment. And I will, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.